Juneteenth honors the emancipation of the last slaves in America, June 19th, 1865. Social and political unrest helped thrust Juneteenth into a federal holiday. While some may not have heard of this holiday before, African Americans have been honoring Juneteenth for more than 150 years. Let me explain. In 1863, as Union and Confederate soldiers were fighting in the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. It freed slaves in Union states, but in the Confederate South, not so much. More than 250,000 slaves in Galveston, Texas, still under Confederate control, wouldn't receive the news or their freedom until two and a half years later. It wasn't until the passage of the 13th Amendment that slavery would be abolished for the rest of the country. That day is known as Juneteenth, or Freedom Day. Over the years, celebrations have taken many shapes and forms. They've included family picnics, prayer services, pageants, parades, voter registration drives, and in 2020, marches. Dr. Charlene Senegal de Kerr is a professor of African American history at Xavier University of Louisiana. Back then, it was just a jovial time. It was, you know, the singing and the dancing and the praising and the, you know, just the, the, the joy of being free and being able to make their own decisions. And more recently, the commemoration of Juneteenth is being recognized on a national stage. Tonight is a first for ABC News. In our 75-year history, we have never produced a primetime special about Juneteenth. Today, more and more companies have a new holiday on their books, from Nike and the New York Times to Target and Twitter, all marking Juneteenth. Dr. Senegal de Kerr says, while Juneteenth commemorates the end of slavery, today it's taking on a more significant meaning because of the current political and racial climate. It is a visible day to actually have these conversations and to open up and discuss all of the things that we have gone through as Black people in America and all of the things that we are currently going through. In the wake of George Floyd's murder, America hit somewhat of an inflection point. Widespread protests and pent-up frustrations prompted tough conversations. As a result, Juneteenth was thrust into the national spotlight. Let us know your thoughts by leaving your comments below and rating this story using our bias meter.